get a picture of you too. You got it. Everybody. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy and I'm Diane and this week we're coming to you from River Island State Park It's along the Parker Strip just about 15 miles north of Parker, Arizona, and we're right on the Colorado River It's a very nice park. We've have stayed here before last year and it, It's not a huge park, but it's very nice like other state parks. It's very well kept up for Monty, there is a very nice dog park, which he really likes. Yeah, he, yeah, he really likes. Yeah. <laughs> One of the highlights of his stay here. Yeah, and we got a spot right across from the dog park, close as we could get, not potentially for that, but he liked that a lot. Yeah, he thought so. One of the things we like about this campground is they do have a very nice dog park. And just so happens our campsite is right across from the dog park so we can see if there's other dogs in before we head over with Monty and Zephyr. And Zephyr particularly likes this dog park because of this rock. She likes to jump up and see, she's like queen of the rocks, don't you? Yeah, we can sit, she sits down and she, up, like having her own little perch. <laughs> This park, like Diane said, is very nice, very well kept. Um, there are some hiking trails around here. This time we didn't hike that much. It was nearly 100 degrees a couple of days this week, so we didn't get out and hike as much as we probably would have liked to. We did go kayaking. We had to kayak out on the river. Yep, we went out twice, and uh, that was a lot of fun. It's, I think, the first time we've had to kayak out on this trip. Yeah. So yeah, we took advantage of the really warm days and took it out a couple times. Yeah. Now kayaking on this river you've got to be careful because the water level is managed and there are times during the day that the water has actually got a very strong current. We found that out when we first time we went out. We actually got to a point where we couldn't go forward. We were paddling as hard as we could and we were going backwards so we had to turn around and come back with the current. Um, the second time we out was a little bit better. The water level was a little lower and I don't think they were running as much water through the river at that time. Right. It does get extremely windy here on certain days and this week in particular and it was extremely warm for this time of year in Arizona. Yeah, we, we're talking temperatures well in the upper 90s. Uh, I think the highest we saw was 99 yesterday. So it's been very, very warm here while we were here. Right. We really haven't used our kayaks as much as we thought we would. This, this is five months into our trip this winter and this is the first week we've had to kayak in the water. It's not because we haven't wanted to, it's just hasn't really worked out. We either not been to a place where there's a where we can use the kayak or when we are someplace where we can use the kayak the weather never works out for us. Uh, for example when we were at Dana Point I really wanted to go kayaking in Dana Harbor. The day we picked to do that the weather turned. The day before would have been beautiful and we should have done it that day but the weather turned and we just didn't get out to do it. So this week we did get out. We did go on the Colorado River a couple times and had some fun. And we're hopefully we'll get to use it maybe one more time before we head home. So we did get out with our friends Jack and Sherry who live up in Lake Havasel. And we went over to the Desert Bar one day. 
Yeah, that was fun. Um, it's a little tricky getting there. You can either go there by uh, some form of desert vehicle, a G, uh, desert runner, something like that. The road that leads up to the desert bar is only about five miles long, but you have to go extremely slow, and it is very rocky, twisty, has dips in it. So yeah, you can't drive fast at all. And I would recommend, you know, uh, some type of four-wheel drive vehicle to get there. Yeah, I think they say high clearance, you know, so don't take your lowered Mustang up right. that trail, right. up road. Primitive road, caution, use at your own risk. The surface is not regularly maintained. Can you imagine some of them, these crazy guys that drive their motorcycle back here? Oh my god, they've done it. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I can see it on trail bike, but they've ridden Harleys back here. Jeez. Well, you're at the desert bar in the middle of nowhere. In Arizona. In Arizona. Post Parker, Parker, Arizona. Parker, Arizona. Yeah. Or you might find it on the internet, Nellie's Saloon, Parker, Arizona. And only fools drive here. <laughs> yes. Well, today we're back in the desert at a desert bar with our friends Jack and Sherry. And we took a 14 mile road that, no, we took a five mile road that felt like 14 miles to get here. Yeah, a little bumpy. <laughs> A little bumpy. That's putting it mildly. Very bumpy. But uh, it's going to be worth the trip. Yeah, you can. Yeah, pretty cool. You could have. Yeah. Ours would have been scared to death of the ride, but... Well, I don't know. Desert bar. It's really cool. Yeah, we just finished our time, spent a couple hours. Yeah, got a little bit of something to eat, had a drink, and uh, yeah. wandered around and checked the place out. Yeah, and we hear that they do have weddings up here. In fact, there's a little, it's not a full church, but it looks like the front of a church. Yeah, and it's a church up. silhouette. Yeah, and it, it's only open Saturday and Sunday. That's right. And and if you come, don't bring Visa or Master Charge. They only take cash. Right, right. And yeah, it's a great place to visit. If yeah. You're ever in the area. And it, that was a neat experience. They also took us to another restaurant down in Kingman, which is I can't remember the name of it. We will put it down below because we can't remember the name of it. Or we probably can't pronounce it. Either. Yeah, we wouldn't pronounce it correctly anyway. But it was up near Kingman. Um, we actually went to Kingman, went to the Route 66 Museum, and went around there. Out because there was no windows. 
Well, these I think they used to have a sliding window there, so I'm not sure that that was no window. But you go over there and you look down the side of that engine. You haven't got a clue what's in front of you. Yeah. Just just amazes me that uh, you know these were these were old enough. That these were automatically fed. They didn't have to shovel and coal. They were they were uh, conveyor belts. Yeah. In the early days you had to, but these were all uh, automatically fed. Fireman, all he had to do was keep making sure the boil pressures are up and watch that side of the track. Kingman, Arizona, and we just went to the Route 66 Museum. What'd you guys think? I thought it was good. It was it was pretty neat. I like the train. I like the train engine. That's I don't know what that yep. is. Yeah, that's cool. A lot of history. Yeah. 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 It's a, a must see on your trip if you ever on 66 in Arizona. Yeah, you get to learn about how the Beale Trail uh, started Route 66 and a little bit about the great the grapes of wrath and how that um, migration from the, the Dust Bowls of the 30s through uh, the trail and then to the more modern version of Route 66 where people were traveling during the 50s more for vacations. And then the highway came through and it all went away. Yeah. Oh, we're still here. Yeah, right. We're still here. Okay. okay. And that's pretty much what we've done while we're here. We've enjoyed our, our week here, but now we're heading off to uh, another place we've been to before. And this would be Usury Mountain in um, near Patchy Junction, Arizona. So we're leaving here today and heading there for the next week. Yep. So if you like this video, what should they do? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And make sure to hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis and love to have you follow along in our adventures. So until next time, we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye. He doesn't want to yeah. We had a dog park. Wanna get in the truck? Get in the truck.